What is up guys and welcome back here to the Utah Utes Dynasty We are here today the Utes will go up against Oregon for the second time this season But this time with very 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 big implications the Pac-12 championship is on the line And if we look at the top four teams in the country two of them in fact playing Ohio State, Oklahoma, Florida State, Auburn All have big games in Boston College, Virginia and Oregon of course who's still sitting out and they have to play us so Oregon, they're hurt. Royce Freeman, their best player, is hurt. And luckily for us, we didn't have to play him either part of this season. So hopefully we could just really take advantage that they won't be able to run the ball as well they can. But Jeff Lockie and Thomas Tyner still can run the ball fairly well. As we look here at how it all shaped up, Oregon definitely won the North. They won outright. Cal actually had a pretty good season. They went 5-4. and four. Still finished number 23 in the country, though. As we look at the Utes. One, just barely the conference. Luckily, we beat Arizona. So, Oregon will kick it deep, and Wesley Johnson will be back to return for the Utes. He'll take it out of the end zone. Here comes Johnson, and he will be taken down right before the 20-yard line. Not the best return. So now, here we go. Thompson, he is playing in this game. Dravion Young will get the handoff this time. Gets two to start the game. Second and eight now. Young in motion. Anderson right up the middle. There goes Adrian Anderson breaking a few tackles and falling forward with a pickup of 13. Thompson now back to throw. Dumping this one off to Dravion Young. He's got a few blocks. There goes Young across the 50 all the way across the 40, 30 yard pickup for Dravion Young. Great play call there on the blitz from the Utes offensive coordinator. So now here we go. Thompson, he's going to go. He's going to fake it. Roll to his left. He's got a man. He dumps it off to Adrian Anderson instead. And he's going to pick up five, making it third and four. Young in motion. Gives this one to Adrian Anderson. But Anderson will be stopped an inch shy. He tried to reach the ball out, but couldn't quite. So now fourth and inches. We need to get some momentum in this game. We're going to go for it. Anderson right up the middle of the power back. He gets it. And we have the first down. First down. Now coming up, Thompson, screen set up for Matt Anderson, and that doesn't quite work. We'll lose three on the play. Second and 13 now, Thompson, he's looking for a man in the pocket, and it collapses, and he goes down for the sack, making it third and 25. Thompson to throw, pressure comes from his left side, dumps it off to Harrison Hanley, and Hanley's got 19 over the middle, but still not enough. So nonetheless, we're still going to kick the field goal. Sutcliffe stays perfect on the season, making it three to nothing. So now here comes Jeff Lockie in this Oregon offense. Blitz comes first play. He's hit, breaks a tackle, and he will finally be taken down as he'll gate nothing on the play. Lockie now is going to give this one to Thomas Tyner. Tyner will be taken down. Third and two coming up. This one goes, nope. Lockie's going to keep it, and there it goes Jeff Lockie. He's got the first down to about the 40-yard line. Nine-yard pickup. Lockie back to throw this time. Hizzy throws, but he gets it to Wayne Stanford for pick of 12 and another first down. First and 10. Lockie, Thomas Tyner now. There it goes. Tyner breaking a few tackles and getting a few on the play. Third down for Oregon. Can the Utes defense get a stop? Low hits him, but that one is tipped away by Reginald Porter. Great stop. And now they're going to try a 55-yard field goal. This one is up, and it is good. A great kick that time from their kicker. Dravion Young in motion. This one goes to Adrian Anderson who gets absolutely blown up on the play. Third and seven coming up. Thompson looking over the middle. He's got Brian Allen. Big time pickup of 13 and a first down. And that's how this first quarter ends. Not much going on. Two very good offenses. But these defenses are what's stepping up right now. Three to three is our score at the end of the first quarter. So we resume again. Thompson, he's giving this one to Adrian Anderson right up the middle. Anderson's having quite the game. Pickup of eight there. Third and two now. Thompson to throw. Looking for a man. He throws. Tipped. And that one's almost caught by Dravion Young as it tips around. But a punt will be the result. So now Lockie back to throw over the middle. It's Darren Carrington who's got it. And he's got five. Third and eight coming up for the Utes. Lockie back to throw. Blitz comes, but it's a screen set up. Tyner's got it. He's got some blocks. Sheds a tackler across the 50. A big pickup for Oregon. Second and eight now. Lockie, he's going to keep it by Everett Lowe. Blows that one up in the backfield. Third and 12. Lockie back to throw once again. He's looking. Throwing's got a wide open man. It's Dwayne Stanford as he scampers out of bounds after getting 22. Lockie right back to Tyner, but this one is snuffed out by this defense 
as the corners blitz works to perfection. Third and nine, and that one, we'll see what the call is. So, a costly penalty on the Ducks, making it third and 14. Locky back to throw. Blitz comes. Kevin Walker once again making a big time sack, making it fourth and 22. Another 55 plus yard field goal, and he gets this one to go again. So, Oregon with two 55 yard field goals as it's 6 3. Thompson trying to run it on the draw there. Nothing comes of it. Second and 12 fake. Thompson looking. He's lo and he will be hit on the play, and he will go down third and 12. Thompson to throw. He's got not much time, but he throws this one to Raylan Singleton, who got open on the play. Second and seven. Thompson, he's now going to try and keep it. Sheds off the tackler, and he's got five. Third and two coming up. Young in motion. This one goes to Adrian Anderson, but he will be stopped once again in inch shy. But instead of going for it, we're going to try to punt this ball away. And there's a good punt there. Can we down it inside? And no, it gets an unlucky bounce as it rolls right up the sideline. So now Oregon's got it at the 20. There he goes. A pitch from Lockie to Tyner. And Tyner's got this one as he gets shoved out of bounds. Lockie fakes this one again. Pressure comes. But this time he gets sacked by Everett Lowe. They have to use their first timeout. Second and 15. Lockie. He's going to run it this time, and he will be pushed that time, but then slides down. Third and 10 with 1.30 to go. Lockie, blitz comes, screen set up, but this one is snuffed out, as in the backfield it's Godfrey, and they'll get nothing. And a punt will come of it. Thompson now back to throw. We're trying to get some points. A great throw to Delshawn McClellan down the sideline. Pickup of 23. 35 seconds to go. Thompson. And it's a screen set up on a blitz, but Young will lose three on the play. Second and 13, 30 seconds left. Young, hand off to the outside. He's got some space. There goes Dravion Young all the way down to about the 20-yard line. First and 10, fake to Young. Thompson looking for a man. He's going, and it's Harrison Hanley, and he gets the catch, and he's into the end zone. Nearly tipped away that time. But great hands by Hanley to get it in there. And a nice bullet pass from Kendall Thompson to fire it in there. So 10-6 to as we get that late touchdown to end the second quarter. Giving us some momentum. As we look here, we're really controlling time possession. And we're actually throwing the ball really well. And zero turnovers definitely helps our chances in trying to win this game. So we will kick it to Oregon. They will start. Lockie's going to get this ball to start it here. And he will be taken down in the backfield. Third and seven coming up. And it's Morgan Mahalik as Lockie actually got hurt on the play. And he will get the handoff. That time is Thomas Tyner. First and ten. Mahalik, who actually nearly beat us last year. And he will give it this time to Thomas Tyner, who's got nine. Second and one. Mahalik looking to throw. And he will be sacked on the play. Mahalik goes down. Jeff Lockie back in the game. This one's Tony James on the handoff. There goes James across the 50. Pick up a 15 on his first handoff of the game. Lockie back to throw. No, he gives this one to Tony James. But James, this play is snuffed out by this defense. Loss of two. Monte Seabrook on the tackle. Tony James, now he's got this one. And he will be stopped. And it will be another fourth down for Oregon. Their third field goal attempt here. Can he get it? And this one is barely hooked left as he misses it. So now we take over. Adrian Anderson gets the carry here right up the middle. Pickup of 11. First down and 10. Second and 7. Here we go. It's Young to the outside. There goes Dravion Young. He's got it across the 41st down. Anderson will get the handoff here. Right up the middle. And he will be tackled after only a pickup of 4. Second and 6. Thompson's going to keep it this time. And there he goes, right up the middle, Kendall Thompson. Nice pickup of nine. Another first ten. What a great drive. Haven't even thrown the ball yet. And this one's Dravion Young. Runs into his own man. And he's got it down to about the seven. Thompson, he's going to run it this time. He runs into an offensive lineman. Now will be second and goal. Second and goal. Young in motion. Adrian Anderson right up the middle. And he's got it into the end zone. That will make it now 17-6 to as we didn't even throw the ball once on that possession. Lockie now to throw. And it's a screen set up for Brown. And he's got it. 
And Monte Seedrick looked like he tried to jump it, but didn't really go for it. First and 10 now, Lockie. He's going to dump this one off to Johnny Munt, who sheds the guy down. Luckily, Justin Thomas is there to pick up the tackle. Lockie now is going to keep it here, and he will reach across for the first down. First down for Oregon. Second and 10, Jeff Lockie to throw. Oh, and he's got to Darren Carrington. Excuse me, pick up of eight. Third and two. Lockie gives this one to Thomas Tyner. Tyner's really had a big game. Another big time run here for him. Second and ten, Tyner. Nearing the end of this third quarter, he's got it. And he cuts it back towards the middle. First and ten. Another great drive here from this Oregon team. We've seen a reason. Oh, that could slow it down. It looks like Walker may have jumped. And in fact, he did. Now it will be first and 15 for the Ducks. Lockie, he's going to give this one to Tony James. And James rumbling his way all the way down. Pickup of 11. Second and four now. Lockie, he's going to keep it. There goes Jeff Lockie, but he gets blown up on the play. Third and three. 30 seconds to go in this third quarter. Lockie up the middle, and he is stopped on the play. Another great stop by this defense. And that's how this third quarter will end as they will tack on a field goal, but it won't be enough. 17-9, the Utes lead and are one quarter away from being back-to-back Pac-12 champions and going back to possibly one of those New Year Six Bowls. Let's get right into it here. Thompson, he's back to throw here. He throws this one nearly intercepted by Arion Springs, but it will be just tipped away. Now Thompson back to throw. He throws this one. Great throw to Matt Anderson on third down. Big time play. First and ten. Thompson gives this one to Dravion Young. There goes Young. He's got a block on the outside. Young across the 50 all the way down to the 35. Big time pickup for Dravion Young. Young goes in motion. But this time it's a screen set up for him. And he's got it across the 25. And another first down here for the Utes. Trying to keep it going now. Thompson gives this one to Anderson. Bumps into the center. And he will only get two on the play. A big third and eight coming up. Thompson looking to throw. Good coverage downfield. Thompson rolling to his right. Looking dumbs this one off to the fullback. Brian Edmonds makes the catch. But it won't do much as Suckliff will just chip up a field goal. Giving us a two point lead now. 20 to 9 is the score. Lockie gives this one to Thomas Tyner to the outside, and he's got it to the 25. Second and 10. Lockie looking to throw. Pressure comes over the middle. Thomas Tyner. No one's in the middle of the field as he's got it across the 50. Big time pickup for Oregon. First and 10. Lockie looking to throw. And over the middle again. No one is there. Dwayne Stanford this time on the reception. First and 10, Lockie to throw. Looking for a man, throws to his left. He's got one, it's Darren Carrington who goes out of bounds at about the 12. Lockie now back to throw again, looking. Dumps this one off, Darren Carrington. He's got a block on the edge and he's into the end zone. It's a touchdown for Oregon, making this one 20 to 15. They're gonna go for two though to try and make it a field goal game. Lockie gives this one. Tony James right up the middle, he's got it. And they tack it on, making it 20 to 17. So now we take over. We can run out the clock here to try and win this game. Young gets it four yards on the play. Third and six. This is huge. We're going to throw it over the middle. Brian Allen makes the reception, and it keeps the drive alive. 3-12 to go. Thompson throwing and nearly caught that time by Brian Edmonds. Unluckily, it's a fullback. And now Adrian Anderson, he's going to go right up the middle and third and four. Here we go now. This one, Thompson, he's going to keep it. And Thompson has the first down with 2.23 to go. 2.15 to go. Young, he gets the carry here to the outside. He will be taken down. Oregon takes their first time out. Second and 11. Thompson looking to throw. Pressure comes, and but he is sacked on the play. Another timeout here for Oregon. A big third and 18 here. First down can end the game. Thompson throws, and this one is intercepted. Thompson throws a big time interception with two minutes to go. Now Oregon with great field position. A very ill-advised throw. It looked like he was open at the time, but just poorly timed throw there as it's an interception for Oregon. 
Two minutes to go. Jeff Lockey looking to throw. This one is dumped off. Booker Jennings has it, and he's got a six-yard gain. 1.30 to go. Lockey looking to throw. He throws, and he's got a wide open to Wayne Stanford on the sideline. 20 to 17 is our score. Locky, he's got it. He's into the end zone with 130 to go. Oregon takes the lead here, and they will make it 24 to 20 after this PAT. 24 to 20. Thompson, can he get some redemption with a game-winning drive? Young to the outside here, and he's got a pickup of 11. The Pac-12 championship is on the line. Thompson over the middle. Great throw that time to Raylan Singleton, and he's got it to the 45. Thompson, back to throw, screen set up, and it's Delshawn McClellan hit in the backfield. Second and 13, Thompson to throw, throwing, and it hits the feet of the defender. Pac-12 championship is on the line. Thompson, he's looking, throws it up, Brian Allen, what a catch in triple coverage. Thompson just threw it high, Allen went up and got it. Thompson, now over the middle, Harrison Hanley, he's got it near the 30-yard line. Second and three. 24 to 20. And it's Adrian Anderson right up the middle. And he's got it. But a field goal won't do. We need a touchdown. Thompson looking. Throwing. And it's caught. Matt Anderson with probably his biggest catch of the season. In double coverage. Anderson now trying to get the carry. And that will force us to use our final timeout. 26 seconds now. Thompson fakes it to Young. Anderson, a great block on the edge, and he's into the end zone. It's a touchdown for Kendall Thompson. And just like that, the Utes take over the lead, making it 27-24. to Kendall Thompson with the biggest run of his career. Now we will kick it deep. Jamie Sutcliffe trying to put them back in the end zone, and Allen will just take a knee. So now they will come out. Jeff Lockie. Here we go, Lockie, back to throw. Screen set up, Everett Lowe nearly intercepts it. <sighs> Second and 10 now. Lockie, back to throw again, looking for a man. Floats this one up, but he gets blown up on the play by Justin Thomas. Third and 10, 15 seconds to go. Lockie, back to throw. Everett Lowe from the blind side brings him down. He will lose it on the play, and they're not using their timeout. Six, five, four. Three, two, one, and that is it. The Utes are Pac-12 champions. An incredible game here. Wow, this defense really coming up clutch in the end. They didn't play that well throughout the entire game. Kendall Thompson with the great game, but with one costly interception that nearly cost them the entire season. Wow. The play of the game, Harrison Hanley ending the second half with that touchdown. That was huge. Brian Allen with a great catch in triple coverage. And then Delshawn McClellan, people probably won't remember that one as much. He was going left, made the catch in double coverage. And we win Kendall Thompson leading that final drive, making some great throws as he gets the player of the game. How fitting is that that he gets the rushing touchdown to end it with all the controversy of him actually being the quarterback. And this season actually ends up being very successful. We end up winning 10 games. I thought this season would be, you know, kind of a wash. But we actually almost made the playoff. We were just a game away, an upset from Arizona State. And maybe everything would have been different. But we beat a really good Oregon team. This team could run. They could actually throw the ball really well. They have some great talented receivers. As we look here, the Heisman goes to Joseph Yearby out of Miami. Miami having some good players again. How about that? And as you see here in our bowl game, we are back as we will play Wisconsin in the Orange Bowl, the number 10 team in the country. A team that's actually very similar to us. They run first, throw second type team. So that should be a very interesting matchup. And hopefully, you know, we can play just as well and also out of the college football playoff. But first, Auburn lost, so they got knocked out by Florida. 38 to 24 is the final of that and of course Virginia won big against Boston College putting them in the mix and then Ohio State beat Iowa in overtime giving them the number one ranking so Ohio State will play Florida State a three loss team without even playing in the conference championship how does that work and then Virginia goes all the way up in there to three so they will play Oklahoma and should be a good matchup but 
We've got our game against Wisconsin. I will see you guys there. I hope you have a great day. And of course, goodbye.